And that breaking news, Indianapolis loses an icon, a man who gave so much to make central Indiana a better place. Eugene Glick, dead at the age of 92. Good evening, everyone. Jenna has the night off. We begin with that news about the passing of Eugene Glick, a man whose generosity has changed our community. Our TV6's Drew Smith joins us live now. And Drew, you had a chance to talk to a Glick family representative. Erica, that's right. It is a very sad day for the Glick family, a very sad day for the city of Indianapolis. You know, when you talk about the Glick family, Gene Glick and the foundation, and how many different organizations that they've helped over the years, it's hard to really talk about all of them because we just frankly don't have enough time. But let me give you an example of the kind of organizations that the Glick Foundation and Gene B. Glick was instrumental in helping over the years. He funded, they funded dozens of organizations. They started the Glick Eye Institute at the IU Medical Center. The Central Indiana C Community Foundation, the Children's Bureau of Indianapolis, and of course, a, uh, a huge philanthropist in ways of giving to the United Way. And possibly the most notable recent project was the Cultural Trail that was just dedicated this past May. Of course, it connects five downtown districts there, and uh, it is such a major part of the city of Indianapolis now, a 60-plus million dollar project that, as we said, was uh, was dedicated this past May. And Mary Ann Glick told us there in May at the dedication that it's probably her parents' greatest legacy to the city of Indianapolis. That would be the cultural trail. And earlier today, Mayor Ballard tweeted this, Gene Glick cared deeply about Indianapolis and devoted his life to making it great. He will be missed by many, but remembered for generations. Right now, I'd like to bring in live Mr. David Barrett, who is the president and CEO of the Gene Glick Corporation, and he is the grandson-in-law. And first of all, my condolences, and from all of us at RTV6, our condolences on the passing of Gene Glick. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a sad day. It is a sad day, but when you look at the all the organizations and the people that have been helped by Mr. Glick and the foundation, it, it, it's a good feeling. You know, Gene loved Indianapolis, absolutely loved being a Hoosier. Um, his contributions were his way of giving back. Um, our company has been very successful. We've been around since 1947, and it was critical to Gene to give back to the community. It meant so much to him. What do you think he was most proud of in his lifetime here? You know, Gene, uh, he, he absolutely loved this city, and he loved watching Indianapolis grow from a very small town when uh, when he was a child into a very large city. Uh, so being able to make contributions back to the city and help grow the city of Indianapolis, I know it, it just gave him great pleasure. David, we talked about the cultural trail and what Mary Ann had said about that. Uh, it is such an iconic part of the city now, and it is a great legacy. Absolutely wonderful. You know, the cultural trail has gotten international publicity, not just national publicity. So uh, to see something like that as tangible and as visible be part of Gene's legacy, I know he'd be very proud to see that. Once again, our condolences to you and all the members of the family, and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. All right. That is David Barrett, the president and CEO of the Gene B. Glick Company. Todd and Erica, let's go back to you inside the studio.